Alrighty, hello there. For this technique, you just need a piece of scrap paper, any size, it doesn't matter. I did measure mine, mine's two by half, five and a half, um, just because I've got a stack of them here. So, but it doesn't matter what size, it, it, the size is for you to choose because like this one here is big enough to do half, a half of a card front. So that's why I wanted to do this size. But you can do the full size if you wanted to, or you can make it bigger or smaller, either way. All right, and what we're doing is we're making, excuse me, a white brick background. So these are all approximately half inch strips. Some of them are a little bit smaller, but the majority of them are exactly half an inch. So, and I've just cut them all down to one inch. And then on some of them, then it left like a half an inch. <laughs> so, but anyways, bricks. All you need to do is glue down the bricks. So these are your bricks that are half an inch by one inch long. Then you just take and you put a little glue on the back. And you, I'm going to go ahead and butt it right up against the, the two corners here. And you're not going to be able to see it very well until I bring it up to you. So let me do the next one. And we're just going to keep keep going, leaving a little space in between. I also did one this small for, because that way you're not sitting there watching me for hours on end, <laughs> gluing little bits of pieces of paper. This will be plenty long enough, I'm sure. Okay, then you're going to go on the next row. And what you're going to do for the next row is You're gonna lay this right in the middle of these ones. So using that that as a guide. So I'll put that on and then I'll show you. Okay. So can you see what I've been doing? Just down, 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 leaving a little tiny space between. And I'm gonna leave a little space between this row, between these two rows. And I'm gonna start by crossing right over where that mark is. Okay, so now I'm just gonna continue on across. And just putting a little bit of space between this one and this one trying to keep them as even as possible and it doesn't have to be perfect they're they're just simple bricks I love the look of this when it's all done and I'm doing it with white right now, but you can certainly use red bricks or brown bricks or, or burnt orange bricks, whatever color you want. But I figured I'd do this white because I'm always trying to do more white backgrounds because there's always plenty of white scraps left over. Okay, so will this one fit over here? Yes, it will. I can use one of my little half squares. Oh, that's perfect. And it lines right up against the edge. <laughs> How cool is that? All right, so then we're just going to go ahead and do the bottom. Now this one, or the next row, this one's going to line right up. I'm going to follow the very top row for this one. So again, I'm going to start on the very edge here. And then... And I'll pick it up so you can see for the next row. Okay. So now I'm going to follow these lines down. And the next one will go right here and here. So I'm just following this row and, and doing, lining it up halfway through that mark. So see, that should go halfway point of this brick. There you go. So we're going to do that all the way across, and then we have one row left. 
and think of all the possibilities of what you can use this for. Because you can use it for a brick wall. I don't know why, but just <laughs> Sesame Street just came to mind. <laughs> they always had one of these long, skinny brick walls on Sesame Street, and then the puppets would come up and behind it. That's what just came into my mind, and that would be adorable. So it could be like a zoo wall. You could do zoo animals behind it. You could do a garden wall. You can do a, a wall with bushes and or flowers. It can be the side of a building, the side of a house. It can be turned into whatever you want to turn it into. Okay, and I've got this little dinky piece which will fit right here. There, okay, and then one more row. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just going to start on this one. So see, I started it down here. Okay, and I'm just going to keep going across. And you can sponge around them before or after if you wish to do that. So it does go pretty quick. Not as long as you thought it would, huh? Another half piece for over here. <coughs> Very nice. Okay. So let me bring this up and show it to you. Isn't that neat looking? I love it. All right, so I just need to trim this off now. Okay, and then trim these off. Very nice. All right, so now we have a white brick wall. Isn't that cool looking? I love it. So you could make a whole white card. So imagine this down at the bottom. Just line it right up. And that could be a brick wall. I really like that. I think that's really cool. Okay. You'll put the, the shorter ones down on the bottom. Now, another thing you can do to it is you can choose. I like to just do three. So pick out three blocks and go ahead and put glue on them. And we're going to double up three blocks just for more texture. All right, so maybe this top one. And just put it right over the top. Okay, and let me do this one. Oh, let's see, how about this one right here? Okay, and one more. I think I'll do this one. Whoops, that one's kind of short. Okay, let's see. I think I need another one. Hang on. I need a longer one. All right. That should work. Oh, 
much better. Okay. All right. So now let's see if you can. Oh, yeah, you can see those. So see how those are raised just a wee little bit? So this one and this one and this one. That's pretty neat, huh? And it just raises it just a little tiny bit. So that looks pretty cool. I like that. All right, now, if we're going to add a little color to it, then let's see. I want like a real pale, 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 pale color. How about this? That might do it. Pale peach. Let's do pale peach. Why not? Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take up one of my daubers. And I know I've got a pink one. Where did my pink dauber go? Unless I left it out. Which I may have. Yep, it's up here, I think. Is that the dauber? No, but that's the black one. Okay. Well, I'll just start with a new one then. That's yellow. Alrighty. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to take this and get a little bit of color on the side. And then I'm just going to go down in between. Just a little tiny bit. And then the next row. And I'm not putting a lot of color on. I'm just putting just a little tiny bit. And if it shows up, it shows up. If it doesn't, then that's okay too. And I'm going to kind of go the other way. But doing the same thing on the rows. So that way the top and the bottoms are have a little slight color to them. There. And just with that little tiny, tiny, tiny little bit of color, look at the difference. Very, very muted, but isn't that neat looking? I love the way that looks. And then you can, of course, go through each of these ways too. So we've got a little bit of time, so I may as well go ahead and do that. I'm just trying to keep my videos a li little bit more comfortable so they're not too long. Again, you can use any color. All right, that looks perfect. There, now check that out. Isn't that neat? I love it. All right, so there you go. That's how you use your one inch or less paper strips. These are half inch paper strips. So one by half an inch, okay? You can make a brick wall. Pretty cool. Alrighty, so I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.